53. Determine the number of tertiary carbons in the below structure. So let's figure that out. What we're looking for is a carbon that's attached to three other carbons. We can start with this carbon. So this is the one in question. Connect the dots. This is one and two other carbons it's connected to. It's not tertiary, it's secondary. Same concept for this one. That's secondary. Same concept for this one as well. That's also secondary. So all of these are secondary. That's not what we're looking for. What about this one? Well, this carbon is connected to one, two, and three carbons. So yes, so far we found one. This is tertiary. What about this top one? This is connected to one and two. No, that is secondary. I'll look at this carbon now. This is connected to one, two, and three in the back. Yes, that is also another tertiary carbon. Same goes for this carbon. This is connected to one, two, and three carbons. That two is tertiary. And this last one here is only connected to one other carbon, making it primary. So in total, we have three tertiary carbons. Our answer is D.